oh, 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 here we go. Day eight is upon us. And we have a small little package. Let's see what we can reveal. Well, it doesn't look like Santa's big fingers are going to reveal anything. Hey, there we go. And, oh my goodness, what is this? <gasps> it looks like mushrooms. Mushrooms. I love mushrooms. I want to see. Isn't that beautiful? Oh. And let's see if Santa's can put these mushrooms together for us today. Oh, There's the a little size dive is there. perfect. And then this die goes here. So there's two inserts. Oh, and then this yes. goes right here. These are going to be perfect for the stitching die of the month that had the mushroom, ladies. And then this goes underneath. And then we have a baby mushroom. These are so cute. And then we go here. These will also go really good with the fall mushrooms, too, that came out in the fall. And then they send us grass to go on the bottom oh. of each one. You know, I was looking for a grass dye a while back, and I could not find a grass dye for the life of me. So, that is super, super cute. I totally want to go play now. Now, if we only had a little gnome so mm. he could go through his mushroom forest. Oh, that would be cute. Maybe we'll get a gnome. Never know. Mm. There's a supr new surprise each day. Every day. This is so much fun. So I am going to definitely play with this one. You will see a sample for sure. So come on back each day and I will surprise you with some cards along the way. Okay, here I go, ladies. Look at what I have created for you today. This has got to be one of my favorite makes recently. I have used today's dye, the two little mushrooms, and like I said a little while ago, I used the dye of the month that came out, I believe, was it, oh goodness, I might not have it on here, hold on. I think it was June? No, September. Stitching dye of the month for September. Um, no, June was whale in a bottle, I think. But um, September Stitching Dye of the Month 2023, and I used it in combination with today's mushrooms. And is that not adorable? The thanks sentiment also came from here. And these little guys now permanently reside in this die set because I just think they go together perfectly. The sizing is perfect for a layered stepped up look and I put a little extra foam under here just so it could be a little higher than this guy here and if you're wondering about my background I got something new from the Spellbinders website these TCW Ken Oliver color sparks this set they come in sets of three this set is let's see if it says what colors these are um, poolside. This is poolside. And they come in these sets like this. And this is a watercolor powder. So I used watercolor paper and I, I dipped the powder on it. And at first I did just the blue at the top. And then I sprayed it with a water bottle and just let it do its magic. I just kind of tipped it around. And I might do this on video at a later time. It just was a lot of fun just to get messy. And it is very messy. I got it all over my fingers. <laughs> I had to wash them off. But um, it is messy. But wow. I mean, the pigments are so brilliant. And I used a couple greens down here. And at first I thought, oh, I don't know. But as it dried, and, and I actually heat dried it to make it go quicker, 
but it really looked kind of cool. So I really, really love this card. I think it turned out great. And for this border, it was the Essential Rectangles. Super simple. Um, just made it out of white and put a blue background behind it. So there's our card for today. I hope it has inspired you to get out your sets from the past and combine them with your new little sets from this advent calendar. I will see you tomorrow, my friends. Bye-bye.